Hello guys and welcome back and uh, let's now uh, get deep and dive deep into uh, discussions on Angular. Okay, so let's first have a look at the architecture that an Angular application has. So uh, any Angular application that we have out there can be visualized as a tree of components. Okay, so suppose there was a there was an application um, for say uh, technical talks then the application would have a root component inside which there would be two views say filters and talks uh, that would be two separate components filters uh, giving you the ability to filter out any specific uh, genre or type of uh, technical talks that you want to uh, listen to or hear uh, or watch okay and the talks uh, which would uh, show you a list of talks and then uh, there would be uh, some child uh, components in inside the talks component uh, that would be each and every um, talk or the list item in that list okay so um, every angular application can be visualized as a tree of components okay and then there are a lot of building blocks that we have inside our angular application okay so suppose uh, Let's first have a look at this one. Uh, every Angular application uh, consists of several building blocks uh, and they are modules, directives, and directives can be uh, further subdivided into three types, structural directives, attribute directives, and component directives. Then we have services, pipes, and then we also have things like uh, model classes, interfaces, guards, and uh, some other things of that sort okay so um this is overall an angular application which can contain a lot of modules and then each module can then contain uh, certain directives um services pipes and guards and things of that sort on it on the right hand side here we have an actual interaction between all these uh, key components or all these building blocks inside an angular application okay so here we have a component okay which is a typescript class now just a disclaimer uh, almost everything inside angular is basically a typescript class until and unless we decorate it with a decorator okay so there are some sorts of decorators that we have in angular that if you decorate uh, some class with would eventually uh, tell angular that this particular class is of this type okay so there are uh, component decorators that tell angular that this particular class is a component then there are directive decorators that tell a particular uh, that tell angular that this particular class is a directive then we have uh, injectable decorator that tells angular that this particular class is a service and then there are other sorts of uh, decorators uh, that we have in angular and we'll have a look at them later but then uh, overall these are all the building blocks that we have in angular so we have a component now a component has a typescript class which is decorated with a component decorator and inside that decorator we pass some metadata this metadata contains information like what template uh, is is this class uh, is this component class uh, have and what all are the stylings that this class needs and various other factors of that sort so um, this would all be the metadata that would be passed to the component decorator uh, and that will tell angular that okay this was the component and this is its template and other things okay so a component and a template interact with each other in on the components that would be a typescript class we can have uh, things like services injected as dependencies and then on templates we can have directives okay so um, directives are uh, things that uh, uh, that uh, that somehow enhances uh, the template okay by providing it something uh, special that the directive is capable of doing okay 
now uh, this is uh, this is everything that uh, angular has to offer okay so these are all the basic building blocks of an angular application now uh, we also have a communication uh, between this typescript class that is the component class and the template that is uh, basically the document object model that we have on that particular component okay so there are uh, four types of interactions that we have um, between the component class and the document object model the first one is a uh, string interpolation okay and as you can see from the arrow uh, direction here it's just one way and it's from the component class to the document object model okay so if you have a property named value on the component and you want to display it on the template you can wrap it inside curly braces like so and this get it displayed onto the dom okay the second way uh, is by using property bindings so say uh, you have some uh, some property uh, named value defined onto your component okay and you want to set that particular uh, property as the value of a particular property of an html at, of an html tag or uh, or or you want to set it to an attribute of an html tag you can do that by using property binding you can also create custom uh, components and use them inside your template and in that case as well if that particular custom component has an input property you can use property bindings to uh, give it or provide it with some values that you have inside your component class and now uh, once we uh, get down to code you will understand in a better way what i'm trying to say okay and then this way is also one way so this communication would also be from your component class to the document object model the third way is by using event bindings so if there is an event that is raised onto the document object model and you inside your component typescript class want to know about it then you can use the event binding syntax what this has is this has the event wrapped inside parenthesis so suppose if i have a click uh, i have a button onto my dom and i want to um, run some uh, code whenever uh, whenever that button is clicked what i can do is i can uh, bind to the click event of it so here instead of event i'll type click and in the handler section will specify the name of a function that we want uh, angular to call once that click event is triggered and as you can see from the direction the direction of it is from the template to the typescript class so uh, whenever there is a, there is an event that is raised onto the template uh, you will be able to know about it in the component or the typescript class finally we have a two way data binding okay and we use ng model for it and then if suppose if we have a property that we have defined on the component and uh, if the property changes on the component the if it is displayed onto the view then uh, it will also get updated and vice versa is also possible so if the uh, if the property is updated on the view then the same would be updated inside the typescript class okay so overall this is the whole architecture of a basic angular application now uh, once we dive deep into each and every part and each and every building block of uh, an angular application you will be able to uh, exactly uh, understand what i'm talking about right now okay but this is overall a very brief uh, explanation and a very brief overview of what all angular is made up of okay so next up we'll uh, talk about uh, angular cli okay so i'll see you in the next video bye